This is the roadmap to become a DPT. Now, as you can see, this is where we're gonna start. And there are several different ways that we can go to become a doctor of physical therapist. So in this video, I'm gonna be revealing where we're going, where you're starting, and how we could become a physical therapist in the fastest way possible if we choose the right direction at the right time. So let's get into this Lego. Lego. Okay, so let's talk about the roadmap to become a physical therapist. I think it's super important that we go backwards and instead of like where we are now and how can we get there, I think it's a little bit more strategic to think backwards. Okay, so check this out. I broke this down into three simplest and most common ways to become a physical therapist. Now, there are different and there are side door ways to get there, but these are gonna be the most common ways okay so check this out we're gonna start right in the middle and this is where most people will go through a dpt school program which is a total of three years to become a dpt right now there are a number of students who do end up going into a pta to a dpt program it's a bridge program and this is going to be a total of three years to of schooling to become a dpt now I mentioned the fastest way possible to become a physical therapist is through what we call the freshman entry three by three track, okay? This is where you're doing undergrad for three years and then you're doing three years of DPT school and you're becoming a physical therapist. Now, in my recommendation, I would Definitely, if you're trying to think about the fastest way possible where you're guaranteed your classes and you're guaranteed a pathway to become a DBT in just one straight shot, this is where you need to go, okay? The freshman entry track. Now, this is the catch though. You can only go on this French, freshman, freshman, freshman entry track if you're a freshman, okay? And you have to have a certain amount of units or under or less to be considered a freshman. Otherwise you will lose that opportunity and that's it. No more, can't do this. <laughs> hey, what's up you guys? My name is Dr. Lift for Change, Justin Lee, physical therapist. If you're new here and we're just meeting, I'm a PT school admission expert, but I'm also working as a physical therapist, but I'm also super passionate about helping students get accepted into PT school so that they can become physical therapists. So if you're learning about this whole PT journey and you wanna learn more about that, Check out the other videos on my channel. I know you'll love it. And if you want to support, feel free to subscribe and check me out on my other social platforms. Okay, so we're gonna move on. Check this out, y'all. Now, as you can see, color-coded what's going on here. Let's go down to Mr. Central Hub where we're gonna start, okay? And this is gonna start um, breaking things down a little bit better and uh, uh, help you to understand a little bit more. So now, check this out. Central Hub, where we're gonna start We'll kind of start break here and then we'll kind of go to the start. It'll make a little bit more sense, okay? So where we start is gonna be as a high school graduate. Now, most of you have graduated already and either you're in um, undergrad college, right? Boom, you're in undergrad at a university or you're pursuing, you're in a community college, okay? One of those two paths, you're in there right now. And you're thinking, okay, I want to become a physical therapist. How do I get there in the world of physical therapy? But wait, there's more. <laughs> there is the physical therapy assistant track. Okay, so how, where do I fit in in this roadmap? And where do you want to go? So let's break this down a little bit <clears throat> so I can share with you the years and commitments and what we're talking about here, okay? so. We're gonna start with where you're starting. Most likely, so I put in blue, you guys see this blue? The most typical and most common route that students will go through. So chances are you're in this route, okay? So most likely you graduated high school, you went to community college. You spent about two years or so in community college to have enough credits to be able to transfer into a university right and from university you've graduated and taken your prerequisites and got all your requirements and applied to pt school 
and you got accepted into DPT school and then now you're gonna become a physical therapist. So that's kind of the route that is pretty typical, right? Now, check this out. Sometimes what can happen is people will go into community college or undergrad, right? But typically community college and they'll go, I want to become a, fit, a physical therapy assistant, right? And let me go from there first because undergrad, DBT school, that, that's a lot. That's at least seven years of schooling. Ah, I might just stick with two years of schooling and we'll just go with that. So some people do that and they go community college, take whatever prerequisites that's needed for PTA school. PTA school is two years and bam, you're already working as a physical therapy assistant. And people will do that right there. And now at this point, when they're a physical therapy assistant, they either have two routes. They can either go up into transition into the bridge program and then become a DPT, right? And that'll take a total of three years. Or they can get PT, be a PTA and then go to school and transfer to a university and then go into DPT school. Now notice how in yellow, we go from start to community college, community college to PTA, PTA to university, DPT school and DPT. Follow the golden road. This is the exact route that I would take if I were to go back in time. Now, okay, the fastest route, sure, the red is gonna be the fastest route. It's gonna be a total of six years and you're already at DPT, sure. Like, okay, if you're a freshman and you know directly and you're, it, the timing is right, Go for it. I think that is the best possible way. You're gonna save on your money, your time, all of that stuff. Six years, you'll be a DPT. That's great. But for most of us, <laughs> we don't know what we want to do, and we're not. We don't have the privilege or the luxury to be in this position. So we're now we're stuck in university or community college world. Now we depend. And now we're deciding: Do we want to be a PTA, or do we want to go straight to DPT, or do we want to go PTA and then DPT? Right? Those are the questions that we're asking. And so if I were to go back, this is how I would do it. I would first go into community college. And in community college, I would take as many prerequisites for PT school as possible and try to get as many general education classes done in the community college setting. This is because things are cheap, right? So yeah, it's going to take me a little bit more than two years, but it's totally going to be worth it. At the same time, while I'm getting the prerequisites for DPT school, very likely it's gonna be the same prerequisites that I need for PTA school. <clears throat> so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be going through PTA school, that takes two years. <clears throat> and now, after I finish PTA school, I'll be working as a PTA, gaining a ton of experience in the physical therapy assistant world or physical therapy world getting my hands on in manual therapy, therapeutic exercise in the clinic, whether that's in the hospital or the outpatient clinic, whatever, right? I'm making money. <laughs> and since I made a lot of, since I did a lot of credits here, now I'm spending only one or two years just finishing up those upper division um, major classes. And I'm gonna transfer into undergrad. Now I'm spending less money here, right? I have all my prerequisites done, so I'm not messing around and I'm just going through my upper division classes and I'm part-time working as a PTA, making money all of this time, going through and having the live experience that obviously is gonna stand out throughout the application process. So now when you apply as a PT student, you have that experience as a PTA that I guarantee you 95% of the students do not have that type of experience. So bam, you already stand out in a significant way, right? So then, now you're in DPT school. So you've gone through all of this and you have this experience from here. So now when you're in DPT school with you with all this experience versus little Johnny who went in from a freshman entry or little Jimmy who went through undergrad and straight through and is just like 21 years old when they go into DPT school. Now you have all this experience and now you're in the same level, the same foundation, the same starting point as Jimmy and John. So let Jimmy John's come together and make a sandwich while you actually go home and take the bread home to your husband or your wife because <laughs> we're eating dinner tonight because that's the way that you're going to learn the best. <laughs>
<laughs> Guys, oof. if you go down this route, it's gonna take you, yeah, a couple more years. But I honestly think because you're making money, the offset of money and how much you're gonna make isn't gonna be too bad. But you're gonna get a ton of experience so that when you're in PT school, you're gonna get the most bang for your buck experience when they're talking about different things. Since you've already had that exposure, now you're definitely in a deeper thinking mode and absorbing way more than Jimmy or John. Y'all follow this so far, all right? So this is the simplest roadmap that I could easily draw for you to become a DPT. Now, quick question. I'd love to hear where you're at in this. Where are you? Are you community college and then now you're deciding PTA or you know university to DPT? Are you at university and you're just like, do I wanna go DPT school or maybe I wanna go PTA school? We're gonna talk about that in a different video. If you're on your path to DPT, is it a downgrade to go to PTA school or not? <laughs> you're gonna have to wait for that video. But I'd love to hear in the comments, where are you in this roadmap? Maybe you're in that bridge program. I'd love to hear from you. <sighs> Guys, I hope this channel, I hope this video brought a lot of value to you. If you have a friend who's in this PT journey and kind of lost, I highly recommend that you share this video. Please make sure you like so that this video can go on the algorithm and a lot of students can get value from this roadmap to physical therapy school. Every day is a great day to lift weights, lift others, and lift yourself up. Stay lifting, stay aloha, and God bless. Have a great one, you guys.